Hello guys, it's me Pyro, and we are doing something a little bit different. Um, I built a bunch of stuff like a while ago when I first started playing FTP, and I would like to show you what I built. And the other reason for this video is I found out what was causing that, uh, that, uh, stupid thing where I couldn't move anything in my inventory. I had to click and hold. I had to take stuff out one at a time and that was really anno annoying. I haven't found out what is actually causing it, like what mod is causing it. But I have found out just by testing um, that it has something to do with the dire wolf pack. I have, uh, I took off the shader and Optifine, and it was still doing it. I basically deleted, uh, uh, the Dire Wolf pack and, uh, reinstalled it, and it was still doing it. And every other mob, every other mod pack, uh, doesn't have that problem so it's only the dire wolf pack so something in the dire wolf pack is causing it i'm not sure what but i do know the dire wolf pack is basically the only pack that has that problem right now so until it gets fixed um uh i don't know i just do random videos and this is one that I have out of so uh yeah this is a bunch of shit that I made that is pretty cool I added the quicksand today because that was cool I respawned in a world uh in my other I think when I was testing if it was the dire wolf pack I spawned in a world that was, it wasn't a jungle biome, but, cause it had oak trees, but the oak trees had, uh, vines on them, and there was quicksand under them, um, I'm not sure what biome that is, um, I thought quicksand only grew in jungle biomes, but that must be one of the new biomes. That was cool. So I took some of the quicksand. I put it around my door uh, as a kind of, of defense, and it actually works pretty damn well. Um, like if a zombie comes to like beat on my door, which is annoying, um, he'll get stuck in the quicksand, and this is only uh. This is only one deep. So, basically, he won't die, but he will get stuck and he can't move. And either, um, I don't think they burn in the sun, um, if they're, like, in the quicksand, but they can't move. So, basically, you can walk out of your door and beat the shit out of them. Which is fun, and I like it. So this quicksand is very useful, and also I had a bunch of mobs uh, in in between this. Like uh, they would spawn at night, and then they would come in here, and they would be safe from the sun. No longer, because this is too deep. So they will die if they step in this. Which is cool. I like Wakeland. In this game, anyway. Not in real life. Um, let's see. So let's show you around, shall we? Uh, this is, uh, 1.4.2, so. Kinda sucks. Uh, the. Like, you can put. A wheat farm down there and it works and everything it'll cut the wheat down for you 
and everything like that. That's cool. But I'm not sure. I don't think in 1.4.2, um, it doesn't work with uh, carrots and potatoes. It won't cut them down for you. You have to do it manually, which kind of sucks. But um, I did uh, recreate this world in the Dire Wolf Pack like a long time ago. And uh, these farms did work. They did cut the potatoes and the carrots for you. So in later versions it works. In this version it doesn't. So I made this system today. <laughs> Because it's cool. I had basically the basic farm here. And I added the engines and the pipes. And the automatic crafting table today. So basically. Uh, is it going to break? It should. Break. Is that going? Yes. There we go. It broke. And now it's coming through this pipe. Very cool. And now it's going to go into this automatic crafting table, which is making melon blocks to like save space. Instead of having a bunch of melon in here, I can compress the melon into a block and save a lot more space. So that's cool. And also, um, I added this chest with kind of a little bit of dirt in it. And these pipes are basically feeding the dirt into the farm. And you can see this is full. I have obsidian pipe which is feeding it back into this chest. So they're basically going back and forth. It's feeding in here. And then when it gets too full, then it just goes back to this chest. So, it's a never-ending loop. Which is cool. And I have a reed farm here, which is cool. There are three high, so let's turn this on. And it should start from this side, and it should start cutting the very top. Um... The reed farm actually leaves two here, but cuts the top one off of everyone, or all of them, but it leaves two here, which is, mm, I guess good, but it could easily just cut the second and the top row and leave the bottom row, but uh, it doesn't do that. So whatever. I have a piping system underground going to this chest. And there's all the reeds. Very cool. So this is my farm. Or my... Uh, what would this called? Or what would this be called? A greenhouse, probably. Yeah, greenhouse. I have some uh, redstone lamps because when I moved this over to the dire wolf pack, uh, red or uh, the red power mod was actually in the dire wolf pack, which is what I wanted. So these were lamps when I moved it over to the dire wolf pack, and they were all connected via redstone wire. But now. They're basically connected with uh, redstone and redstone torches. So yeah, I like the redstone wire mod. The redstone wire mod is pretty damn useful. It kind of sucks when you don't have it. But this is my giant freaking like uh, barn that I made. Um, and this was full of animals, but I killed them all because they were fucking annoying. And they wouldn't just shut up. 
So, and I have this chest at the back, full with uh, all of the stuff I need, like the carrots for the uh, for the pigs, the seeds for the ducks, or ducks, the uh, chickens, uh, all the meat from when I killed them, <laughs> a few bucks of uh, milk wheat for like the sheep and the cows feathers leather lots of freaking eggs and some wool okay very cool run oh i don't have my uh let me quickly spawn that in because it makes it easy industrial craft let's get my what the hell are they? Uh, there we go. Quantum legs. And, uh, like that, and like that. There we go. I have quantum legs now. Now I can run really fast. Very cool. And I don't have the shader mod on right now because I, uh, I forgot to load it. Mm hmm. But this is the other building I built. Actually, this was the first building I built. Then I built the giant barn. And then I built the, um, the, uh, greenhouse. Greenhouse, okay. Um, and if red power was on, this button wouldn't be here. These doors would be, like, automatic. But since I don't have red power, I have to use buttons, which I hate buttons. There we go. Basically, this is like a big giant scourge house that I made. That was pretty cool. Basically, I have one of everything. Um, all stacked in here. Like all the tools and armor and ores and stuff then when I ran out of the vanilla uh, minecraft stuff I moved on to like build craft industrial craft uh, forestry and all the wires and more armor and a bunch of other stuff so very cool my god I hate the buttons there we go Okay, cool. And I did notice when I started this world that there is a village back here. Which is pretty cool, but... The village is kind of weird. I didn't know the village extended this far. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, floating snow block. Okay. That's weird. So these are the things I've made, uh, well I made them a long time ago, I just did some touching up, uh, before I started recording, like adding the redstone lamps and the, uh, the tubing and, oh yeah, one more thing that I added today that I didn't show you is, um, uh, there's no way to get in here, like to these chests, to get what's in them. So I made a little pathway today. I broke uh, the, the floor open and all that stuff. And I made a little pathway. And as you can see, wheat. <laughs> Carrots, pitch, and potatoes. And they all lead up to where they're supposed to. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah. That's everything I built. I think, um... I may put 
this in the Minecraft building series? Probably. This will probably be the second video. But, uh, yeah, that will be good for now. I'm kind of still waiting for whatever the problem is in the direwolf pack to get fixed before I start uh, my uh, FTP series again because it's actually really annoying not being able to pick up items in your inventory. So I guess that's it for now. Um, this is everything I built. When I have downtime after I'm done recording or something, I usually spawn a world and build a bunch of shit. Just, just cause I get ideas. They may not be good ideas, but I get ideas. I actually went online and uh, went to Google Images and looked up like different barns and stuff and um basically found the just a regular old barn doesn't look like anything like the picture but I basically put the doors on the front and just built the rest so may not be the best but I like it it's pretty cool I definitely like my um my greenhouse it came out really cool <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, that's it for now, and I will come back whenever whenever the problem gets fixed with the direwolf direwolf pack. Either that, or I'll show you some more crap that I built. There's probably a couple more worlds that I'm not thinking of right now that I built random shit in. So. Uh, that'll be it for now, and I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.